What's good everybody? Um, welcome back. This is question and answers number one. Question number one goes out to a great fan of mine. Uh, shows me a lot of support. But um, Matt Pohl asks, who are your buds on the circuit? Do you get friendly with other competitors? Or is it all business? Ever since I've joined the IFOCE a few years back, or a Major League Eating, um, I've come to get, I've gotten to know a lot of great people. A lot of us travel to events coast to coast, and we get to see each other all the time. Sometimes we bunk in the same hotel room, stay in the same hotel, go to the same after parties. I've made a lot of great friends, uh, people who I consider friend even outside of competitive eating, and. Uh, as far as business goes, it's definitely business. You know, I'm not up on stage thinking, hey, I'm going to go relax on this guy because uh, he did me a favor back then and whatnot. It's all business. But, um, you know, honestly, I think to a degree, having friends in the league, knowing these people personally and all that stuff, it helps me kind of get excited for these contests more and push myself more. So being friends with these guys helps the business. I think that answers the question enough. All right, next question. Congrats on the views, man. My question is, what's your favorite movie and why? One of them has to be Dumb and Dumber, uh, the one with Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. That's a classic. Second one sucked. Another movie called Adam, uh, probably not that well known, but uh, I, I really like that movie. Last but not least, um, I know a lot of people don't like this movie and think it's stupid, but when I was a kid in like fifth grade, my friends followed it like cult. Kung Pao, Enter the Fist. Kick-ass movie. I'm still waiting for the sequel. 99 American Girl asks, what was one of the greatest contests you've won? Well, ever since I've joined the league, I really haven't won basically any contest. I've only won one. I'd have to say, it's not really a contest, but the CP Biggest Eater Bangkok, um, it was more of an appearance, but uh, I won it. I ate the most wontons. Now, this one didn't get any thumbs up, so uh, it wasn't too popular, but since he asked so politely, I feel obligated to answer. Excuse me, Matt, can you tell me the resolution of your monitor? Yes, it's 2560 by 1440. This little one over here, I forget. Another computer question comes from I'm the Victor, who asks, where can I get your Megatoad desktop icon? I'm assuming you mean this lovely thing. I've got a red, gold, green, dark blue, white, and for the ladies, Pink. So yeah, if you want one, um, the best way would be to go to my Facebook fan page, uh, give me the like, and uh, send me a message just saying what's, what color you want, um, what size your screen is, and I'll send it to you as soon as possible. Jack asks, what's in the coffee cup? Adam, whose thumbnail looks like he's running a marathon in the cold weather, asks me how fast can you run a 5k? The fastest 5k I've done is 17.43. By far the most popular question of last week, the top two most liked comments were um, pretty much the same thing. What do you do after eating all that calories? How do you burn them? Or how you burn them? And how do you stay so skinny after all those meals? I get this all the time, and um, it's kind of like impossible to answer because, it, I mean, first off, it's not like a magic pill or anything. I don't pop a pill or do something like that, and I don't have a crazy metabolism, despite what all of you think. It's just diet and exercise. You know, I go to the gym a ton. The diet I usually do is like 40, 40, 20. Um, if I work out more, I might do 45, 35, 20. I know it sounds cliche, but uh, I eat a lot of vegetables, um, whole grains, high fiber, bread and cereals, um, some fruits here and there, not a big fan. Mainly healthy fats like nuts, fish oils, lots of protein like uh, protein powders. I do a lot of supplements, chicken, um, breast, and I eat a lot of fish. I love my fish. Boxio456 asks, how old are you and do you have a girlfriend? I'm currently 20 years old. No, I do not have girlfriends. And no, I do not have a girlfriend. I'm single, alone. And last question in this video, a great way to end it, but Crymar09 asks, are there any competitions open to the public? If so, can you make a video with upcoming dates in case any of us want to go and watch you compete? Or do you do that on Facebook? Dot, dot, dot. 
Um, first off, I'll start off by saying that if you do follow my Facebook page, you will um, know what I'm doing. You know, YouTube is kind of after the fact. I upload videos of the contests, uh, challenges, whatever I'm doing. But on Facebook, I let people know what's coming up and um, you know what's just what's happening in the future. I don't upload too many announcement stuff to YouTube. That being said, yes, all competitions are open to the public. Um, Major League Eating actually just announced a ton of contests um, that are coming up in the next few months. Um, most importantly, the Nathan's Qualifying Circuit for the you know Fourth of July hot dogging contest. Everybody who's up there has to qualify except for the champion Joey Chestnut. And um, I'll put a little list right here of all qualifying dates and locations. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to be going yet. I'll probably be going to either um, Boston, where I went last year, or Las Vegas, because that's the closest to me. But aside from Nathan's qualifiers, there are going to be contests going on throughout the country for the next few months. My next contest, though, is going to be the annual Deep Fried Asparagus Eating Championship at the Stockton Asparagus Festival in Stockton, California. I know that I got a lot of fans in Northern California, so, um, First contest of the year, save the date, it's April 27th, 2013, Stockton, California, the Stockton Asparagus Festival's Deep Fried Asparagus Eating Championship. Joey Chestnut's going to be there, I'm going to be there, it's going to be a great contest. It's also a big ass festival, so aside from just the contest, it is a lot of fun, and I uh, hope to see a lot of you there cheering on the Megatoad. That would be awesome if I can get a nice, solid... Megatoad fan base there because usually uh, a lot of the Stockton crowd there is rooting Joey on. So let's get a Megatoad riot going on. And then after that, most likely I'll be heading over to Texas for a Euro eating contest in Houston. Mm, Alright, there we go. Uh, question and answers number one, episode number one. I think I got through ten questions there, so like nine or ten. So uh, again, if you have any questions, it could be any question in the world. Um, Please leave it in the comment box below. Most like questions will definitely be considered. And I, of course, every week we'll pick a lot of questions that I just feel would be fun to answer. So, um, anyways, just keep asking.